Hi, I'm Savas, and I'll be talking about Engelkindling, our paper on supporting journalistic angle ideation with large language models. Journalists play an important role in keeping us informed and holding powerful people accountable, like corrupt politicians, CEOs, and organizations. Newsworthy documents like public leaks of financial records, emails, and press releases are important sources for news stories. However, writing good stories from these documents is mentally taxing, requiring journalists to conduct a sentence-level analysis of claims for their implications. And with shortages in newsrooms, important stories are not being told. To understand how to help journalists be more productive with writing stories, we conducted a three-month co-design with four professional journalists, where we met once a week for an hour. We learned that exploring multiple angles for a document is crucial to writing a good story, and that press releases are a great candidate for supporting angle exploration. We then observed the journalists think of story ideas for two press releases to understand how to best support their process. Here's how a journalist brainstorms story ideas from a press release. This one is from New York City's mayor, Eric Adams, on converting land into an offshore wind hub. Press releases are often filled with biased language that journalists skip over to get to the important claims. From these claims, journalists then think of angles like potential controversies. For example, here the journalist has identified the wind hub's promised jobs could be outsourced. And they continue this process for claims throughout the document. And finally, after thinking of potential controversies, journalists then go through past news articles to get background context for each of their angles. For the first controversy, a journalist might see if wind hubs in other cities have provided local jobs, potentially leading to an updated angle like New York's new offshore wind hub will provide far fewer jobs than those from Los Angeles. And from these observations, we formed four design goals for angle kindling. One, cut through the fluff by concisely summarizing the press release. Two, provide angles focused on conflict and controversy. Three, facilitate trust by helping journalists link these angles back to the source text. And four, provide relevant historical background for each angle. From our design goals, we built angle kindling, which displays the press release on the right and its suggestions on the left. This press release is about New York City's mayor creating a new zoning plan. To fulfill our first design goal, Angle Kindling provides a list of the press release's main points in a neutral tone, like Mayor Adams is committed to investing in growing business districts and emerging job hubs across all five boroughs. And to fulfill our third design goal, Facilitate Trust, each of these main points can be selected to reveal its source in the press release. And then we can skim other relevant portions on economic development with a related content button and gather additional context on the mayor's plan. Next, to fulfill our second design goal, provide angles focused on conflict, Angle Kindling generates a set of potential controversies for users to peruse, like the housing plan might not do enough to help those who are struggling to afford their rent or home ownership. Each controversy is clickable once again to reveal relevant portions from the press release, but also to fulfill our fourth design goal and provide a related New York Times article for background. This one details how past inclusionary zoning did not produce enough units for low-income New Yorkers, and perhaps the mayor's plan will face similar issues. Users can click on this blue arrow to also then read the actual article. Uh, next on the sidebar, we have areas to investigate, and these are important questions a journalist might consider for the press release, uh, like how effective has the M Crown initiative been in Crown Heights? And once again, they're also clickable to reveal a background article and relevant text from the press release. And finally, we have potential negative outcomes, which imagines how the propositions made in the press release could fail, including how the changes might lead to gentrification or pollution. And once again, these are also clickable to reveal an article and relevant text. Great. Moving on to the implementation, to generate the angles, areas to investigate, and negative outcomes, we first split the press release into sections each containing text that is about the input length for GPT-3, which is a large language model we use. We then input each section into a few shot prompt for GPT-3, where the examples in the prompt were taken from the angles journalists brainstormed from the formative study. We have three prompts, one for controversies, another for areas to investigate, and finally one for negative outcomes. Finally, we merge the angles across all the sections into a single list. 
Next, to facilitate trust and link these angles back to the source text, we embed the generated angle and then calculate the cosine similarity between the angle embedding and the embeddings of all the sentences of the press release. We choose the top five as the related context. And finally, to link angles to news articles, we do a similar process. From the press release, we extract five keywords, like wind farm in New York, and we then search the New York Times with these keywords. For each article, we combine the headline as well as its first sentence into a single embedding. And then we calculate the cosine similarity of the angle with all the headline embeddings, using the highest similarity headline as the background context. For our evaluation, we conducted a user study comparing angle kindling to the relevant ideation features of Inject, a prior creativity support tool for journalists. We asked 12 professional journalists to think of story ideas for two press releases. Then participants rated how helpful, mentally demanding, and how pursuable each system's angles were. They also rated each tool's features. Inject is a prior ideation tool for journalists that employs traditional NLP techniques to inspire story ideas, like providing articles related to the press release, these articles are organized by their content type, like quantifiable, which are articles that contain many mentions of quantities, money, and statistics. And finally, entities are extracted from these articles and linked to their Wikipedia pages. Moving on to the results, angle kindling was rated significantly more helpful for thinking of story ideas, while requiring significantly less mental demand than inject. This was the case for a few reasons. First, Angle Kindling suggested angles that easily inspired concrete next steps and story ideas. For example, the controversy, there could be resistance from community members who don't want more police presence in their neighborhoods, inspired P2 to think about the specific actions this task force will take, the communities they will impact, and how these communities have been impacted historically. This led her to consider a retrospective story she would write a few months out on how the task force's recommendations affected these particular communities. Next, as well as inspiring next steps, Engel Kindling's angles were also useful for many different types of stories, including month-long retrospectives, next day stories, and day of summarization pieces. Overall, the journalists preferred the controversies over areas to investigate because they more often led to these deeper analytical stories. Meanwhile, Inject required more mental demand for thinking of ideas. For the zoning press release, P5 found the article, New Jersey Town says no thanks to development potentially interesting. However, to create a useful story idea, she needs to skim the article carefully, understand why Jersey residents did not want development, and then reason to see if these circumstances applied to New York residents. This process, while potentially rewarding, is tiresome and risky in that the journalist might not find anything useful. Beyond inspiring useful story ideas, Engel can link also help journalists deeply engage with the press release quickly. The main points helped users get a holistic perspective of the press release and identify interesting portions. And highlighting related content helped users quickly source these angles in the press release. For example, P12 was intrigued by the controversy, there could be infighting among the various agencies involved, but wasn't sure where they stemmed from in the press release. She then skimmed the related content and found this list of agencies, adding credence to the angle. And for these reasons, both the main points of related content were rated highly amongst the journalists. Finally, providing a news article for each angle helped users better think of ideas with these associated articles. Here, P4 was interested in the angle, the increased housing opportunities might not be affordable for low-income New Yorkers. The related article details how past so-called affordable units were still too costly, leading P5 to a new angle that questions if the new plan is real change or just more empty promises. Finally, there are a number of avenues for future work. First, on top of Angle Kindling's predefined angles, we can support journalists in writing their own prompts to create angles that better suit their own interests, like education or finance. Next, journalists choose to pursue angles based on several different constraints, including what their readers are interested in and how much time they have. In the future, angle kindling could include features to help journalists choose angles based on these constraints. For example, based on article click-through rates, we could train classifiers that identify angles that best align with readers' interests. Finally, LLMs have been trained on the internet, which is inundated with clickbait articles and text that might not represent the best journalism. We should understand if LLMs are biased toward potentially harmful angles and how to mitigate that. 
With that, thanks so much for listening, and please see the paper for more details.